Uh, in this guide, we're going to look at updating a few sections of your Facebook business page. There are a lot of things you can update, but specifically to help with coming out of lockdown, we're going to look at how you can update your opening hours, uh, business description, and contact details to give your customers as much information as you possibly can. Uh, important to say before we move any further, um, Facebook is changing. Uh, there are two versions of it available. Uh, you should still be able to access two versions. It's important to say, because looking at this screen here, what you see on the left is how Facebook, the new version, looks when you're updating business hours. Uh, and on the right is how it looks when you're updating business hours on the old version. Uh, and some of the new features that Facebook have launched, specifically for COVID-19, the features are actually only available in the old one. So we'll, we'll show you that in more detail as we move on to the next section. Changing back and forth between the two, Facebook versions is actually a very simple. Um, so if you're seeing the new version, you'll see navigation down the left. Uh, if you come up to the arrow up on the right hand side and click on it you'll see switch to classic facebook if you're still seeing the old version of facebook or the older version of facebook again just come up to the arrow up here click on it um, and you'll see the switch to new facebook so whichever one you're on flick back and forth between the two of them so let's start by looking at opening hours uh, unfortunately opening hours or the new feature of opening hours is only currently available on the old Facebook, you can access uh, hours by going to page settings and then page info. Facebook have added a temporary service changes option in there. So if we look at uh, the current version of Facebook or the new version of Facebook, if you scroll down to home, down to page settings down here, and then page info here, if we scroll down and look at hours, there are no extra features in here it's just regular hours so by all means change your hours in there and and hit save if you come into the older version of facebook instead um, and either click on settings then page info or straight into edit page info here click into there uh, and then if we scroll down the page to the section that talks about hours if we scroll down here you can see this looks like the the new version of facebook same same options here but there's also this extra feature down here uh, giving you a few options so operating as usual temporarily closed or open with service changes so this one here is, is one of the newer ones if you click on there you can then select a couple of check boxes so that you're offering online services you're offering delivery you're offering pickup or other changes uh, so select other changes um, what will happen if you select other changes is that facebook will add a notification on the, the about us section of your page referring users to go and look at posts you've put out with, with more detail. So if you do select other changes, you're going to have to post on Facebook as well, just to let your customers know what those changes are. So moving on to business descriptions, uh, this is actually just a, a really, really quick one. Um, within fa your Facebook page, you get up to 255 characters to describe your business. Uh, we recommend if, if you haven't ever really spent any time in there, go and flesh that out and, and fill out all 255 characters. But it might also be worth using that as a place to to highlight anything that's maybe changed about your business just for the foreseeable future until, until everything's back to normal. Um, if we come back into the page info section here within your settings, um, the description's right at the top. So you can see here 255 characters that we get to edit. So, so just come in and, and type something in there or review what you have put in there. And the reason that we suggest changing that is because on the newer version of Facebook, if anyone lands on your page, uh, this about text is, is quite prominent. Um, if we just look at a couple of examples here, just landing straight on this Facebook page, that is one of the first things you actually see is the business description. So if you're trying to get a message across about COVID or coming out of lockdown, that's a really good place to do it. So go look at your Facebook business description as well. Uh, and lastly, uh, as part of this guide on, on Facebook coming out of COVID is just to review your contact details. Uh, I assume most of your contact details won't have changed, but worth going and looking and seeing what you've actually got in there and make sure it's correct. People are going to want to contact you to find out when you are open and what's happening and if there are any rules. Uh, and like, like the description, the About Us description, the contact details are fairly prominent on your page. So web address, phone number, email address, uh, again, web address, phone number. Like all other things though, the, the options that you get are different between the old and new Facebook. If we click into the, the new Facebook and into page info, again in the settings, you can see we can add phone number, email address and, and website, fairly simple. Um, and then it'll just save. But if we flip over to the, the older version of Facebook, the, the classic version of Facebook, 
again back within the page info tab, you can see that the phone number, website and email address are, are same. Where, where the difference lies is actually within the About Us tab on your page. So if you click on page uh, and back out onto your About Us tab, remember this is a classic version of Facebook. This is the contact details section here. Um, and you can actually add other information in. So we've added in LinkedIn, Pinterest and YouTube. If we click on edit in any of those, a window pops up where you can add uh, more accounts and, and links to things which is not yet on the new version. So if you want extra contact details in there, do it through the old version. So just to finish off this guide about Facebook, these, these tips are there specifically to help with COVID and coming out of lockdown. But with all channels, I would recommend that you go in and review your whole profile section, the whole About Us tab, all the other sections in it, and just make sure all that information is up to date. It will, it will help with trust and it will help the customer understand whether they can come and use your facilities or not.